I have had the experience, the personal experience, which again is very unique to have, which is I've come on a show like yours and just owned all the many ways that I'm flawed. And the outcome in my situation was, you know, at first my mom felt a little exposed by that, think some things I had said, and I felt bad naturally. And then she called me about a week later and she goes, you know, I've been really thinking about it and that's your story. It's your story, and you are fully entitled to tell your story. And I'm a part of that story, and sometimes that might be embarrassing for me, but you own your story. It's your story. You're allowed to tell it. Right. And so she kind of, you know, I, she was an example of someone who uh, never hi <clears throat> hid her, her defects from us. She always owned her shortcomings and her failures. And I, so that was an example. And then you couple that with getting sober, which requires a lot of honesty. And as you start saying things out loud in meetings, uh, which is a very safe place to do that, uh, I'm speaking now about sobriety, when you're, yeah. when you're speaking in a 12-step meeting, you are saying things that are really shameful for you often, and then you're looking at the faces around you and you're expecting to see people go like, but you're not, you're seeing people go, like, I, I did it too, I've been there, I, I can relate. And I don't have a mission statement, but I do really think that the whole world could benefit from what happens inside of a 12-step meeting. That uh, we are all led to believe that our neighbors are somehow crushing it and doing it perfectly, yes. and they're not fighting, and they're not doing all these why, things. Why is that, you think? Because we don't let people see that. And it's, of course, it's only been compounded by the fact that we now have this digital medium, which makes it even easier to curate your self-image, way easier than it was. Like, you know, you remember growing up and you live in a neighborhood and you'd hear neighbors fight, you'd hear the dad start screaming, yes. and, right? Yeah. But now I think increasingly our interactions are our, our, our virtual interactions where we're seeing our friends on vacation, we're seeing the best meal our friends ate that week. So you're just more and more convinced that everyone else is doing it correctly. They're doing, doing it without wreckage, without hurting people's feelings, without apologizing, without shame, all these things. And, and I just think, uh, oh, I have a unique opportunity to be the one that goes first, publicly. Like, all right, I'll do it. I'm a piece of shit. I stole drugs from people. I cheated on people. I, you know, I'll do it. And probably some sector of the country is like, that guy's a scumbag. But I think maybe a bigger sector and the one I want to connect with is like, oh, yeah, me too. I did it. Uh, oh, God, I feel a little less shitty about myself. <laughs>